Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Frontwoods Farmer here. Today we're installing a GDP rotary switch. It is a five position SOTF position switch. This is six position high idle. I don't think it's applicable to us. Uh, we have a 2014 Cummins with an easy link tune on it. I can't find anyone's, anyone, any videos out there. Not ripping on anyone else's videos, but unless you're like super tech savvy, I can't find any videos out there on how to install these switches if you don't know what you're doing. Like we went to a shop, got a full five inch stainless exhaust, head studded, push rods, easy link tune set up, everything. And he told me to change those tunes on the fly, shift on the fly, you need this switch, it's like 50 bucks. Uh, I just showed you the uh, product, uh, product number, I guess you'd call it, to order from GDP directly or through, we got ours through Thoroughbred Diesel. It was a pretty easy process. Can't find any videos on how to like, hey, I got my truck deleted and I got to install a switch myself because I didn't have them in stock video. So if, if you did your easy link yourself or went to a shop and you don't know how to install this switch, I'm going to try to show you today. Uh, hopefully it goes good. I've never put one of these in here. So, all right, stay all right, tuned. So from my understanding, you got to have the truck off. You got to install this switch first. You got to run your wires through the firewall first. It does come with a, uh, a little Allen key here. Let me see if I can show you guys where you put that. It's on the side of the switch. See that right there? Loosen that up. Your knob comes out. So wherever you want to put it on the dash, you can just drill your little hole. I think it's an eighth inch hole. And then put your nut, you know, tighten it up. I mean, I'm not going to teach you how to put in a switch. If you don't know that, I would have a professional do it. It also comes with you one through five. And uh, so from my understanding, you download this, uh, your tunes from Easy Link. Uh, you got to go to like those three or four lines on the top left hand corner, your easy link, and you got to download this like to the cloud, these tunes. I'm going to, I'm going to put a uh, image in for you so I could show you guys what I'm talking about, uh, to get your five positions. You know, I think it comes with like a 30 horsepower or something like that economy tune, a tow tune, you know, street tune, race tune, all that fancy stuff. This plugs into your driver's side. On the driver's side, I guess there's two different crank sensors, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. So let's go, I'm gonna show you first where this is ultimately after you put your switch in, run your wires through the firewall, where you're gonna actually splice this in. Not really splice, and all you do is unplug the crank case sensor and you're plugging this into the harness, thus leaving your crank case sensor unplugged on the driver's side sensor. Uh, that was not well explained in other videos either. I guess these just, Push in the back of those. Yeah, I, I didn't show the film on it, so I gotta cut in real quick. They just snap right in. You just push them in and they just snap into place and they hold. Certain way, so we're gonna figure out how that goes too. But let's go pop the hood, try to figure out what we gotta do. Hard to deal with one hand. Let's, let's jump so up here. here. Obviously your Cummins engine. This is our driver's side. And right here, I guess, this little red tab pushes out. You squeeze this together, take it off the engine, and you just plug that in. Now, on the other videos, like I said, I gotta show you guys what wires go in the fitting on the switch side. Like, I, I gotta figure out how this goes because they're color coded. So, but that in a sense is what we're gonna do. Hey guys, I don't want to keep doing all these cutaways, but uh, in that video, I wanted to get that GDP switch I wanted to show you guys how to get this switch put in your truck. And I guess I didn't do a good job in explaining to that. We got it put in. I'm cutting in this video to tell you this is for all you guys that are not super tech savvy, that have the tunes they just got put on. If they went to a shop and you don't know what you're doing, this switch is so easy to put on. It's really not that bad. And a lot of other people's videos, what I was trying to say was, is that like you know you watch these big youtubers and they're like oh look at my cool stuff and it's awesome filming and editing and i don't have that uh this is more for you guys for informational than showing off my toys i mean they're cool too but we'll get more into that but i want, definitely want to show you guys how to put this switch in so keep just keep watching easy link right here so it's plugged in all that jazz so i'm gonna try to put this switch in put it into the crankcase sensor Download my tunes off Easy Link and see how it works. After watching a couple videos, I think I'm going to want my switch mounted right here to the right. You know, if you're driving down the road, you're driving your, your truck, 
you want to shift it on the fly i think right-handed would be the best so i'm not all because i'm right-handed not all goofy and i'm all be left handed like, blah, 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 blah. next thing in my truck blah, 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 and breaks so anyway yeah i'm gonna put mine right here on the right so first step is there's two screws i, I gotta take out this screw and that screw it's either hex or a phillips so we're gonna pop this dash off Cover should just pop off. See, this just pops right off here. There's these little tabs. They kind of hold it in place with them two screws securing it. Here's our Easy Link tuner that the guy installed from Apex Diesel. Just kind of zip tied it there. That's okay. So we got this off, so we'll drill it out, fasten our switch on here. Run right. through the fire. I don't know how good you guys can see that, but on to my left, that's where everybody through that rubber boot grommet thing. That's where everybody runs their wire. So we're going to stick with that and try to run our wires through that. Switch off. Take this brass nut off. Whatever size drill bit, we're going to screw that through our panel and then tighten that back down. That'll install that switch. Put the switch end back on. Tighten up the Allen key exactly where we found it. And then we should be good to go to run the wires. Also, whenever I looked at these switches, there was three different options for our 14 Cummins. This is the one that it said works with the Easy Link tuner. The other ones go through the OBD2, and there was like another one too without, I think, this little end for the crankcase sensor. So I think this is the one you need. We're going to find out by the end of the day. <clears throat> I'm not going to show you guys drilling this hole. Of course, my luck just started raining out. So I'm going to drill this hole down here, then I'm going to put the switch in run the wiring and then we're going to show you which wires go into that crank plans uh after seeing what's behind this panel i don't think that's the best option to put that switch i like it over here but if you put it over here that's your whole dash so if you ever don't want the switch you know it's nicer because you get to just place this for panel so what i think we're going to do is keep it on the right we're going to put it right above or right below our radio to get this radio dash out you take these two screws out i already did it Need one of these uh, Torx bits so you get that out take them two bolts out and literally all you do is gently pry like this you pull and this whole thing it's kind of scary it pops right out and this just lays down there so we're going to drill our hole in here right, so you remember on. where i showed you guys about those wires this is where i wanted to push it through right here on that um what i've seen though is like the thing's well conformed to that throttle cable or whatever so i'm going to cut a little slit in here just pull them out through all right, so I don't have any additional wires hooked up to my Easy Link. Just, it's on. I had to start the truck real quick, get that on. And you guys know how to go into your Easy Link, turn on your Wi Fi, connect the Easy Link to the truck. And then all you do is you download that SOFT switch 0 180 horsepower or something like that. Click on that, and then it'll prompt you. You want to turn your ignition off then it says next you hit the next turn it on hit the next then it brings you this screen and all this starts happening in the install like right now we're at 58 percent it doesn't go really slow but it's not going real fast and we got this installed we're gonna to have to keep this away from all the hot spots wire this up got it connected in our crankcase sensor and down there I actually went alongside. I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to cut the, uh, the actual throttle grommet. It'd be kind of dumb. So I, I cut it, but I cut next to it. And that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple. And then we'll All go right, test. It's a mess today, but this is what you end up with. This switch right here. That's what we got. Start her up for you guys. See how it worked. It worked perfectly. We just downloaded the tunes. It's just switches. Again, guys, like, subscribe to this channel. I appreciate the support. In our next video, I'm going to really work on the editing. I'm going to do a full review. We're getting a turbo put in the Cummins with this full delete. I'm going to do a full review of the truck. 
So stay tuned. Please share and subscribe and like.